Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to extend custom headers in PDF report using QF template engine. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to add custom header and footer, please check link is given in the description. And if you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblens channel and here you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development and here you can see different playlist available with different topics and real task cases and this is the main playlist available for the odoo development in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page under the about page you can send your query to this email address source code also available in the github which is open source so you can modify it in your side you can also learn right the basic concepts and we have also some different social media pages make sure you can also follow and also you can subscribe this channel to get the latest notification in case you want to support this channel right using many ways like buy me coffee paypal or using the join button so let's back to our main topic like how you can extend custom headers in the pdf report last time what we discussed is we created our own custom and header part right and we just print the student profile here so you can see here what we done so far is like the header part we done the custom one and the footer part right now in this discussion we are trying to extend this custom header part all right so for that like let me go to here in the editor in the custom add-ons and if you remember last session you can see this one we already created a new module right wb custom header footer pdf and here you can see we already created two templates so this is for the layout template which is help us to create a header and footer and this is for the student profile right so we can create as much this templates to develop a different types of pdf pdf layouts but let's say if you want to create a different types of header and footer so for that you can use this kind of external uh, let's say the templates and you can use in your existing reports right so far we done is we created a header part this is for the content part and this is for the footer part right this is the simplest way you can create now let's say how you can also add a dynamic value in the header part right so this is the first question and uh, which is obviously we need here uh, let's say the basic information about the current header part so here what we are doing is we are trying to create here uh, sorry not a create but we are trying to add here the dynamic value which is coming from the company so let's say the company name then after company uh, let's say the address detail and the logo all right so here let me first remove this part let me add here one more deal clash row and simple I will create a two different class so let me copy this one the first should be if you know good about the bootstrap right so in a bootstrap we have different types of uh, uh, boxes the layout call uh, the call MD or call LG right so those things we need to use so for that we don't need to use here call dash md or call dash mx something like that because which is not working in the pdf report so simple we have to use call two three four so on till 12 right so for that like i will use here call three and here call nine nine plus three means 12 so total this row this div tag having a two different layout right so this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one now let's say here i will try to add image so for that uh, let's say i will also add one more bootstrap class which is md4 right and here i will use here the mg tag like this alt 
here let's say image then after let's say yeah after that like we have to also use here uh, if condition t dash f we can just assume here we have uh, some we have here company related one variable which is available and we can directly access the users profiles company all right so for that like i will use here company right and here like let's say i will use here the logo logo with logo is available in the res dot company right and this is the image field so if this is available then this image should be print right so for that we have to use also here the dynamic uh, src so for that you can use here t dash att all right and here i will use here like let's say image data url and here company dot logo and let me add also here some style right uh, maybe like let's say the max height right like let's say 90 pixel all right so this is the thing after that like here we can try to add a uh, company address so for that like in a res dot company we already have one more variable uh, sorry the field which is in html right uh, let's say that name is a company underscore detail so we have to passed here so for that like let me add here the span and uh, i will try to add a one more if condition same like the image right like this like t dash if company dot right company underscore detail this field is available i mean it's not empty all right so for that then after i will use t dash if uh, sorry t dash field uh, here and I will try to simply use company dot company underscore sorry details uh, sorry here not we don't need to use details all right let me close here the tab this span tab that's it now the question is how can I access or create this company as a variable right so for that uh, there is a simple and a small code is available in existing module which is under the web so for that like we have to search here external layout you will get a lot of uh, let's say external underscore external underscore layout and the file should be in xml side and let me copy this piece of code and this is available here in the web views and report underscore templates dot xml okay so what it is so simple it is try to create this variable 0 I mean O and value should be the doc and here uh, if in case the company variable is not available right so it will automatically create a company variable uh, based on the different conditions you can see here all right so we need at least this part otherwise the if company variable is not found then what happened the div the header part should be always blank right so we need uh, this piece of code you can just try to copy paste right before this header and that's it now we are trying to uh, let's say print our not a print but let's say uh, we try to upgrade the module so for that like let me minus u and i will paste here my module name and i will try simple restart the service 
and it will automatically upgrade the module and if you don't know how you can configure or doing pycharm like this way right uh, i already explained and it is available in editor level playlist let me go to here in the student profile and try to reprint this report all right so we have some type of error none type object is not callable right and which is available here all right so here is a mistake you not a uri uh, so it's a uri not a url okay let me upgrade the module and up upgrade module is compulsory okay now i will try to print this report so now you can see the logo in the left hand side which is call 3 you can say call md3 and this is call md9 okay but you can see still the header part is not expected it should be in the right side all right so for that we can use here text desk right let me upgrade the module and i will try to reprint this module let's see the difference here all right so you can see like this way you can generate a beautiful header pad you can also add here in this blank space you can also add more information right you can just add here instead of this call 9 you can also add here one more new class call uh, let's say 4 sorry not a 4 3 6 here custom content also you can print let's add it under the p tag right and i will try to so let me close this one all right so you can see it will print like this one so this is not a dynamic one this is dynamic one and this is dynamic one okay and this is the content of the record set and this is the footer part so yeah that's it for now uh, related the header part i hope you understood how you can extend the header part and in our next session we will try to uh, also extend the footer part with the dynamic values all right so in case you have any doubt related this custom header part changes please comment below and see you in next session